Hi there everyone, welcome to my Blender tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to rig a first person shooter hand for animation. This can be used for your own project or export to game engine like Unity. Make sure to stick around until the end as I will explain everything in details so you can follow along easily. So let's get started. <laughs> First, I need to bring my 3D Kaiser in the world origin. So I'll press Shift plus S and choose Kaiser to world origin. And here I'm going to start by adding a single bone. So I'll press Shift plus A and go to Amateur and add single bone. Now after this, I'll go to Bone Data and click on In Front and As Is. This will make me see where as in the bone has been orientated to. And then after that, I'll press Tab to go to Edit Mode and, and select the bone head and press Shift plus S and choose Selected to Kaiser. Now I'm going to press J and move it on y as is after this go back to object mode select the hand and go to edit mode and i'm going to select faces of this hand here and i'm going to press shift plus s and choose kaiser to select it now I'll go back to object mode and select the bone edit mode and now i'll press shift plus a and add a single bone at the 3d kaiser now i'm going to align this one and this bone is going to be as as the upper i need to check if the bone is in front side the hand after this i'm going to press C to extrude a single bone around this side because I want to control this rig with IK and then I'm going to add a forearm so press C to extrude one bone around the rest area here. Now after this I'm going to extrude another bone then press C again and this one is going to be for the hand so then after here I'm going to add the fingers so for the fingers I'm going to start with the little finger so I'm going to press C to extrude another bone and then I'll move it to the tip of the little finger so we need to check if it is inside the finger so now with this bone select press alt plus p and choose clear parents and now i can move this head around this side so after this select the little finger bone and press w and i'm going to subdivide this two times and i'll have four fingers here and i'm going to align this one to the little finger So after this, I'm going to press L to select all the link bone. I'm going to press Shift plus D and I'm going to duplicate and move it to this side. So this one go to the ring finger. So I'm going to align also that one. So from here, I'm going to duplicate this one also and move this one also to the middle finger. Now let's move on to the last bone. So this is going to the thin finger. So for this one, I'm going to delete one of the bone and I'm going to align the thread to here. So from here, I'm going to name all the bones. So I'll go here and I'll name this one upper arm and this one is the forearm and this one goes to the hand. So from here, I'm going to shift D to duplicate this hand bone and I'm going to call it IK hand. I'm going to press Alt plus P to clear parent. That means this bone will not parent to anything because it's going to control the IK hand. Now from here, I'm going to press C to extrude another one bone around here and I'll press Alt plus P and I'll clear parent and I'll move this one around this side and this is going to be for pull target for the IK. So I'm going to rename this pull target. Now let's move on to the bone orientation. Here the Z as it needs to be point to where the bone is going to be oriented. So in edit mode, when you select the bone and you go to the item you have bone row so i'm going to rotate this to make the x axis point down and the z axis point out like this and i'm going to do the same for this little one so let's move on to the fingers but for the fingers you have to make sure the z axis points up like this and the x axis point on this side
Well, for the tomb hand, Daisy has is supposed to be point on the other way like this because it is going to be rotate on this side, okay? So I think uh, the orientation of the bones are good for now. So this is what I'm going to do again. So yeah, I'm going to shift plus A and I'm going to add a cube and isosphere here. I'm going to scale it down. And now let's go to post mode. Now with the ha IK hand select, I'll go to the bone custom shape. I'm going to choose the cube I just added and now it will align like this. Here you can go back to object mode and select the cube and you can scale it down to make it fit the hand. And here again, I'm going to select the pole target and I'm going to change the custom shape to this isosphere and I'll choose wireframe for that one. So let's select our array, go to post mode and we can change the color of this, change the color to something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this and parent it to the hand rig. So now let's go to edit mode. So yeah, I'm going to select all the fingers parent one and shift select the hand hand not the hand ik but the hand and control plus p and choose keep offset this one all the fingers will parent to the hand ring and now after this we are going to add ik to our character hand to do so i'm going to select the forearm make sure you are in post mode and let's go to bone constraint and add bones here i'm going to add inverse kinematic and the target is our rig so choose the amateur and the bone is the ik hand and for the chain, I'm going to choose three. And now for the pull target, I'm going to add the armature. And the pull is the pull we just added, which is this one. And for this orientation, we need to choose which orientation is good. That will match where. So I think minus 70 is good. So if you see the rig has realigned like this, keep it like that, it will fit. So right now we, now we can use the IK hand for the movements on the hand and we can also use the pull target to rotate the elbow. So I'm going to select the hand and go to bone constraint again and I'm going to add copy rotations and for the target is the amateur and the bone is the IK, IK hand. Okay. Right now when you select this IK hand, we can use it for move and rotate and everything so this is what we want so after this what i'm going next is i'm going to edit mode and i'll press b for box select i'm going to select all these bones and i'll go to edit and go to batch rename here make sure to selected and go to bones and go to set type to set name and for the method choose surface here for the name type dot l that means all the bones uh, we have selected is going to be add dot l at the end to the name so click on ok and rename bones at the edit so when you select all the bones you select the bone and you go to the bone here you can see forearm dot l all the bones dot l has been added to it so now let's go to edit mode again and with the ik hand select i'm going to click on form uncheck the on the form that means this is not going to deform any mesh i'm going to do the same for the pull target now after this select use b for both select that bones again and go to amateur and click on symmetry now you can see it has been symmetrized to this side and now i'm going to select this and i'm going to rename this as master bone so i'm going to select this upper arm and this one shift select the bone master control plus p and choose keep offset i'm going to do the same for this hand i k so select the hand i k and shift select the bone master control plus p and choose keep offset we need to do the same for the bone row and parent keep offset select this one also the hand r and shift select this and control plus p and choose keep offset do the same for this and now when you go to post mode we can use the bone master to move the entire bone like this and all of this is working so now left it we are going to bind this to our rig now i'm going to delete all this keep i just added and press a select everything shift select the bone last and control plus p and choose with automatically weight now it has accessory bind with our character hand and let's go to post mode and let's test if everything is working now you can see we can move our hand rotate with the hand ik let's test the fingers if it is what so you see the fingers orientation also work fine you can go to individual origin and you can rotate them all like this so this will make it 
easier for animating because all the bones has good orientation. So you can see the S mirror also working because of we name the bones very well. So guys, this is the end and I will provide the link to download this rig hand. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rig gun and in the next form, we are going to animate the gun. We are going to animate first person shooting in Blender. So make sure you subscribe and like, comment for more videos.